Okay, never mind. I'm not going outside. I can't fit the net through the door, okay? But you guys totally go outside. It's a nice day. So, what I'm gonna do now is just go through a couple soccer drills and skills and things that you can do to make yourself better soccer players, and I want you guys to try this at home. If you don't have a soccer ball, that's fine. Just grab any sort of round thing and it should work, all right? Now, an important skill that soccer players have is their ability to use also their legs and different parts of their body to uh, move the ball around, okay? So, I want us to try, and I'm gonna try this too, to uh, dribble the ball with our knees, and as many times as you can. All right, I'm gonna empty my pockets here. And you know what, we're gonna get real serious, I'm gonna take off my keys. Okay, I want you to try dribble with your knees as many times as you can, and I'm gonna try it too. Like that, like that, I can get two. And then keep trying. Oh, oh, ooh, that was three, I'm getting better. Okay, let's see if I can beat three. Ugh, all right, that's a little tough. Now, I want you to try it with your head. Soccer players can use their head to hit the ball, and a lot of them use it to even score, okay? So, being able to hit the ball with your head is a really important soccer skill. So, I just want you to throw the ball in the air and try to knock it around with your head. And, as you can see, I didn't play soccer growing up. I got two. Let's try one more. All right, two is my record. Let's see if you guys can beat two with your head. I'm sure you can. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is you guys gotta learn to uh, use your feet in soccer to move the ball around, all right? And please remember, when you're kicking the ball, don't do it with the front, don't do it with your toes in the front of your foot. That's uh, not how you wanna kick it. Uh, soccer players kick it with the side of their foot, right over here. Which whatever one you kick on, they kick with the side of their foot. It's not gonna injure their toes or anything like that. So you're moving the ball like that with the side of your foot, okay? That's how I want you to move it between cones or between any obstacles out there. I just want you guys to practice going back and forth with the soccer ball between your legs without losing control, all right? Let's see if I can do it. You go fast or as slow as you need to. And then come on back around. without losing control. It's harder than it looks, all right? So we'll try that a couple times, going in between practice, uh, keeping, it, keeping the ball in control in your feet, all right? And then the last thing I want you to do is a fun one, all right? As you guys can see over there, that is the net. The goal of soccer is to kick the ball or hit it with your head or any part of your body into the net, all right? So I'm gonna practice kicking it into the net. And uh, if you guys have a partner or something, they can be a goalie and they can try to stop the ball from getting into the net. You can go as close as you need to, as far away as you need to, it doesn't matter. But I'm just going to give it a couple kicks and try to make it, alright? Watch and learn. That's one. Line up, got another one. That's two. Notice how I'm kicking with the side of my foot, all right? And then let's try one more for good measure, all right? I'm two for two. Oh, that one I hit a little too hard, all right? So don't do that or else you'll lose control, okay? But those are just some fun things that you can do with soccer and go ahead and go do them, all right? Have fun, kids. See you later.